when Jan Nepomnishi lost the World Championship match against Magnus Carlsen with a score of 7.5, 3.5, 4 losses and 7 draws. Not many people thought he would be able to make a comeback. But there was something about Jan which made the chess world sit up and notice. It was the way he gracefully accepted defeat, calm and cool in every press conference, smiling through the pain when many would have collapsed. The match ended on 10th of December 2021, five days ahead of schedule. In his post-match interview, Yan attributed one of the reasons of his defeat as burning out. He had worked extremely hard for several months and that backfired badly during the match. Fifteen days later, Yan was already fighting once again at the World Rapid Championships 2021. His opponent in the final tiebreak for the gold medal was young Uzbek talent Nodirbek Abdusatarov. Nepo lost the second tiebreak game and had to settle for the silver medal. You look at the footage of that game, you will see that the first thing Nepo does after resigning is to smile and congratulate his opponent. Things did not go Yan's way in 2021 and he couldn't play much in 2022 before the candidates. But one thing was clear, Yan was working on himself. His chess, his attitude, his ability to believe in himself. They say hard work is never wasted and this was 100% true for Yan as he sat down in Madrid for the candidates 2022. The tournament would determine Carlsen's next challenger. Although Magnus had made things very complicated with his lack of interest to play against Yan or anyone of his generation, Nepo didn't really care. He knew that what Magnus decided was not in his hand. The only thing in his hand was the ability to make good moves and good moves he made. One move at a time one game at a time. Before you knew it, he had raked up 5 wins, gaining 27 ELO points, rising up to world number 3 and winning the candidates 2022 with a round to spare. What was Jan's reaction when he won the candidates? He didn't want to celebrate. Why? Because in 2021, when he had won the candidates with one round to spare, he had celebrated a bit too soon and then lost his last round game to Ding Liren. That had left a bad taste in his mouth. This is what Yan wants to avoid this time at the candidates. This is 100% in accordance strategy to keep learning from his mistakes and keep improving. The journey from 10th of December 2021 to 3rd of July 2022 has not been an easy one. But the story of Yan teaches us that when you work on improving every little aspect of yourself and your game on a daily basis, results are bound to come sooner or later. Whether Magnus decides to play or not, one thing is clear, Yan is a stronger chess player psychologically and chess-wise than what he was in 2021. A huge congratulations to him and his team.